What's up gamers? So today I'm going to be answering your questions, and I got the majority of these questions from Instagram. So if you want to be in the next Q&A, make sure to go follow me there. So for the first question, we've got, is it true you and Bakugo got caught making out? And yes, yes it is. Caught Sean. Oh, Deku. Oh, Deku. Kiss me, Deku. I will caught Sean, don't worry. Midoriya. Bakugo. What are you doing? Uh... Todoroki? Can I join in? And for the next question, we have What's your name on VR Chat and how do you make these videos through VR Chat? Well, my name on VR Chat is just my channel name, Otaku VA, and the way I make these videos are just simply through a camera that VR Chat has. See, I can, well, I'm not moving the camera right now, but I can cover it, I can do a bunch of stuff, and I can move it to wherever I want. But right now, we're gonna keep it right there. But if you wanna play with me, just add me. My name is Otaku VA on VR Chat. Mind Your Own Parsley says, how is it voice acting? And honestly, it's pretty cool. I've been doing it for about a year now, and I've gotten this far, so I mean, gotta keep doing it. And plus, I can do things like this. Hey, you damn losers. Now I'm taking over the Q&A. What's the next question? Ashley Doodler says, got any advice on moving on? Like, from a relationship, I'm guessing. So this is what you do. You just say, f*** you, and you just focus on yourself. That's what I would do. Ugh. That's what I did with Kirishima. We broke up. You know what? F*** you. I'm out of here. F*** you. Okay, okay, I'm back, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Kachan wanted to take over. And I mean, why not, you know? I don't know what he was wearing. Why was Kachan wearing a pig suit, I think it was? I mean, I kind of liked it, but... I don't know. It was weird. Next question. SBZO asks, would you Detroit smash All Might for a trillion dollars? Yes. Yes, I fucking would. I would slap him so quickly. Jelly.Beanie asks, how is it a UA? And honestly, it's pretty terrible. Come look, come look at this. I mean, we got Aizawa and we got Mike. They just stand here. Uh, they, they literally just stand there. And I don't know why. They don't do anything. And, and the classroom's empty? Like, why is it empty? Damn, boy! He's thick! Boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! That normal guy, 76, says, No more Fortnite! And I agree. Fortnite kinda sucks. But if you like it, then that's good for you. Just keep enjoying the game. But, personally, Fortnite kinda sucks. This question comes from Snow Wolf. Do you do voice acting for a living? And, yeah, I pretty much do. I mean, my YouTube channel is where I pretty much make my money, and also TikTok, I think I have like 220-something thousand, so yeah, that's pretty much how I make my living, and YouTube actually pays really well, even for a smaller channel like mine. Hopefully one day we'll get to like 100k or something, that's my goal, but we'll see. Your friend Lowell says, can I get a Awa Awa? And yeah, you can! Awa Awa! There you go! Um, have fun with that. This person says All Might or Vegeta. And come on, bruh. We, we being serious? All Might would slap him. He would destroy him. All Might's... All Might? Well, the current All Might is literally a stick. So, I mean, then I guess Vegeta would win. I never watched Dragon Ball, so I don't really know. But I'm, I have my money on All Might. This person says, Would you rather be All Might's toe for the rest of your life? Or have Bakugo spin everything you eat? And you know what? I think I'm gonna be All Might's toe. Because I don't want Kachan to spit in my food and my drinks and that would be awful. Kachan just spitting in- Actually, now I think about it. Maybe I do want that. Maybe I do want Kachan to spit in everything I eat. Uh, tell me what you would do. Would you rather be All Might's toe or have Kachan spit in everything you eat? That's kind of a tough one. Because on one hand, I can be All Might, and on the other, I can have Kachan spit. This person's question is, do your cheeks really clap that loud? And if you haven't seen it, there's a video of me twerking, and my ass cheeks are clapping like crazy. So I'll play the clip right now. I'm throwing it back. And that's the clip. And yes, they do clap that loud. This person's question is, how much do I upload? And I upload every Monday and Friday. 
No, that could change. I don't really know. I might start uploading on Saturday. That might be a better day. And maybe I'll change the Monday. I, don't, I really don't know yet. But it for a long time, it's been Monday and Friday. It might change, but I don't know. On Mondays, it's a comic dub, and on Fridays, it's VR content. So yeah, maybe it'll change in the future, but for right now, that's about what it is. This person asks, is Tenya thick? And my answer to that is, what is wrong with you? But yes, he is. He's very thick. Uh, this person asks, did your dad ever get the milk? And no, he never got it. In fact, I'm, I'm still waiting for him to get it. You know, he said, like, I think 10 years ago, he was going to go get some milk, and he, he, he never came back. I don't know why, but he never came back, and I'm still waiting for that milk. Get me that fucking milk, Dad. Get me the fucking milk. This person's question is, why do people purposely hurt others? And honestly, you have to look inside yourself and ask yourself that question. Why do people hurt other people? And usually it's because they themselves are hurt. Just like a bully, right? Usually a bully would have some horrible things going on at home. And that's the main reason why they lash out at others at school. So they can feel some type of validation or feel like they're not a loser. Because by making someone else feel like a loser, you're putting them down. And therefore putting yourself up. And that's why other people are so mean to other people sometimes. You know, usually when you grow up, you start to understand that stuff. But as a kid, you just don't really know. And you don't know why people are really being mean to you. And it feels like there's no reason whatsoever. But just know everyone's dealing with something, no matter who they are. And uh, yeah, I guess that's my answer to that. This person's question is, do you think you could clap Bakugo? And yeah, I could clap his cheeks. I'll clap his cheeks all night. Hell yeah. This person's question is favorite food. And honestly, my favorite food is probably chicken tenders or maybe like pizza or something. French fries are pretty good, I don't know. I really like chicken tenders. Uh, and yeah, that's, I guess that's it. This person says, what is your favorite animation you did? And I don't know if they're referring to my VR content, which kind of looks like an animation. Like you could kind of get it confused with this being an animation, or maybe they're talking about my comic dubs. Cause those, like, actually are animations. So we'll just say this, my favorite comic dub and my favorite VR thing I made. So my favorite comic dub is the Air Responsible comic dub. I think it was very well voice acted by everyone that worked on it, and the editing was very good by Innocent Weeb. So that's probably my favorite comic dub that I've ever made. And for my favorite VR video, it's probably Shigaraki Likes Deku's Twerking. If you haven't seen it, it's pretty recent on my channel, go check it out. I'll put a little card in the top right or left, whatever, and you can go watch it. This person says, what inspired you to do voice acting? And there's a YouTuber named SeadogVA who was a huge inspiration for me. I never really voice acted at all when I was younger, but I, I guess I'm pretty good at it. I just started, I think, a year ago, and we've gotten this far and we've done this well, so uh, we're just going to keep going and see what happens. And I mean, I guess these YouTube videos are working out, but yeah, SeadogVA was a huge inspiration to me. Uh, you can kind of tell by my name, Otaku V8, it's just, it's kind of a basic name, but I kind of like it. It kind of, I don't know, it holds more meaning to me than I thought at first. I kind of am an otaku at heart, so I mean, it kind of makes sense. But yeah, Sea Dog VA and just anime in general were a huge inspiration for me to voice act. And here's their other question, how many times has Deku broken his bones? Too many times. Too fucking many. Uh, Deku, do it fart. Yes, yes it does. It farts, often. I mean, I could fart on your face if you want, if you're into that. This person says, who is your waifu slash husbando? And I guess my waifu would have to be maybe Uraraka or Toga? One of those two. This person says, what do you think there is between Bakugo and Kirishima? Referring to, like, I guess romantic feelings between them. And if we're talking seriously, I... I don't really think that they're going to be together in the show, though I, th I do think it would be really cool and a great way to represent that community, but in Japan, that is very looked, looked down upon, like the LGBTQ community, just in general, which is really sad because I feel like Kirishima and Bakugo could be good together. I mean, when you really think about it, Bakugo is the only person, I mean, Kirishima is the only person that Bakugo has ever really befriended and been really close to, I mean, as far as we've seen. So it would, it would make sense a lot if they ended up together, but they won't. They more than likely won't. 
This person says, if Todoroki put ice in his mouth and used both sides, would the ice cube melt or freeze more? I have no clue, but that's a great question actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, what would happen? Because let's think about it, you put an ice cube in your mouth, and then he's using his fire side and his ice side. What? What happens? Tell me in the comments what you think. Okay, now we're gonna look at some of the questions from YouTube. Skylar Rose says, who is your favorite My Hero Academia character and why? And they also ask, what is your favorite all-time ship? Well, my favorite My Hero Academia character is Deku. Um, originally I didn't like him too much, but I've kind of grown accustomed to the voice and it helped me like the character a lot more. And honestly, I share a lot of qualities with Deku, so I would have to say Deku's my favorite. And my favorite ship has to be Deku and Uraraka, mostly because I kind of see myself as Deku a lot and I see someone that's kind of special to me as Uraraka and I kind of just really like them too, together. I think they're really cute. Rainbow Dragon says, what is your favorite anime? And honestly, my favorite anime has to be Demon Slayer. Tanjiro is even, and if you don't know who Tanjiro is, he's the main character. He's the, my profile picture on all my social medias. So I mean, I can, I clearly really like him and I love the show so much. The animation was amazing. The story was pretty good, but just the action and animation and the music, they, they did an amazing job with it. Just so, so good. And if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it. If you're a fan of My Hero Academia, you'll probably like it. Greninja Gaming asks, how can I do the Deku voice? And honestly, you just kind of got to do this. And with your, with your voice, you kind of got to make it crack and... Hey, um, I'm Izuku Midoriya. You kind of got to do stuff like that. Um, it's kind of hard to explain clearly, but yeah, it'll take a lot of time. All I'm going to say is, if you can kind of do it in the beginning, like, give it a shot. Try and do it, and if you just keep working on it, it'll get better and better. You can even see on my channel how much better mine's gotten. This person's question is why did I become a YouTuber? And honestly, I've always wanted to be one, ever since I was, I think like 14 or 15, and that's when YouTube really started popping off and getting really popular, and it's something I really, really had fun with way back then on some older channels, and now I'm here. I've gotten better and better at making videos, and stuff like that so if you're thinking about becoming a youtuber just try it just do it just keep going you, you just gotta start somewhere because i started somewhere and it definitely wasn't with this channel but i'm here now you gotta get that experience you can't succeed without failing so give it a try if you really want to do it and this person's question is cats or dogs and honestly both i really love cats but i love dogs so much so if i had to pick one over the other i would probably say dogs but still, cats are just awesome. Uh, this person's question is, how long have I been a voice actor? And I've been voice acting since last year, around February. You can look look at my oldest video. I think, or actually my oldest video may be posted in April. That's around the time I started voice acting, so pretty much a year now. And it's crazy to see how far I've come, and how much, I mean, I guess I was always kind of good at it. Even though I never really tried voices or tried voice acting before, but when I picked it up, I, I was adherently just pretty good at it. You know, usually people need a lot of time to get better, but I was I kind of could tell what was good and what was bad, and and I just kept kept molding myself to what I what I expected. Like I have a really high standard, and everything I kind of do, I just keep it to that standard. And if you do that, you'll you can voice act too. This person's question is: If you could collaborate with anyone, who would it be, and what do you think of the My Hero fandom? So, two questions. Um, if I could collaborate with anyone, I would probably collaborate with... I would go on Trash Taste. I would love to be on their podcast. I love watching it, and it's so awesome. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's an anime podcast. Or, it, they, they all live in Japan, so it's more of a Japan podcast. They don't talk about anime that much, but I still love that podcast, and I love those dudes. They brought me a lot of good times, so maybe them. I'd love to have a conversation with them. And what do I think of the My Hero Academia fandom? Well, it, it can be pretty bad. I mean, a lot of people just simp for these characters, which is really weird. And I mean, I'm I'm not perfect. I've made a lot of stupid jokes, and I kind of contribute to it. But it, that's it's just that it's a joke. It's not it's not actually what I think. Like I don't actually want to see Kachan and Deku making out, right? It, it's just a joke. Uh, but and, and it's funny. Like a lot of people find it funny. So I mean. 
It's not like I'm doing a bad thing, I'm just trying to make people laugh. But the My Hero fandom in general is pretty bad, but there's also a good side to it. I mean, there's a lot of people that just like the show. That's how I was, I just really liked the show, I thought it was cool. The, the story's cool, the characters are amazing, and the world's really awesome too. So that's all the questions we have for today. If you want to be a part of the next Q&A, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Or look for my community posts on YouTube. And then you can ask all the questions you want. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.